Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and here's the question. What do you get if you combine this with this? Right, the answer might be some cool library like the hybrid head crusher from Pulse at the Sounds. So, the creative minds of Pulse at the Sounds, they took an Italian vintage ice shaver machine and sampled every single sound that they could get out of this machine and then took it a step further to develop a really cool library out of it full of percussive sounds and sound design and they tweaked them and they mangled them so we have hybrid loops, we have cinematic loops, we have Brahms, hits, pads, all this in, in one cool library and as always, let's have a listen and then we will go into details. So now you heard some of the examples from this library and let's see exactly what you find within this. First is obviously the real cool interface. It's quite similar to, for example, their hard hitting library Detonator Rage. There must be the link to, to the video somewhere or even Dystopian Guitars, another cool library from them. And within the hybrid head crusher, you get Brahms cinematic kit you get a construction kit, you get a hybrid kit, and then you get loops that they did out of those kits. You have the cinematic loops, the hybrid loops, the normal loops, you have the mega hits and the pads. So let's play some of those and have a look even at this small demo track that I wrote. Within the demo track, I used the mega hits. So many. hits and I just altered always this on same sound coming back um, I used one of the pads even there there are many pads within so if we go into the pads um, then here you have this drop down menu where you can go from one to the other obviously on the main page here you have the two buttons to switch from the main page to the FX page you do have the volume the tune the panning the filter the attack the release you have a gate sequencer that you can switch on and uh, another really cool feature that I would like to show you we do have here within the Brahms for example so you do have here the Brahms 
which with the red keys you can tune them even to D if you want yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. And then if we go into the effects page, you see you do have a filter, um, a low cut filter, a reverb, a delay, a sequencer, a panning sequencer, a distortion sequencer if you want, and you can switch them on and off. And that's really cool with the key switches. So if I go here, you see I press the key and I can switch on and off those effects by key switches whilst I play. That's really cool. Another cool effect is on the main page, you do have this knob to dial in and out all the effects that are selected there. And as always, obviously right click, learn MIDI CC automation. In this case, if I have a knob, I don't put them normally on a fader. I put them on a knob on my very beloved Nano Control 2. And now I can dial in the knob. Here on my hardware that's, that's really handy. and as we are here with the effects um, for example on the pad I can show you on the effects if you switch on here the, the without the filter the pad sounds like this you switch on the filter with this sequencer you see how the sound slowly opens up the same thing comes here with the distortion the sound gets distorted as it gets in. The same thing with panning. So now it goes from one side to the other. You do have obviously the reverb, the delay. There's a lot of stuff in this library. So the demo song. Um, I started, as I said before, with those mega hits. Then I bring in a pad. I can solo this a moment. Then I bring in another pad. And I bring in another pad again. And here I did something cool. I used the joystick to pitch the sound down. Uh, I had a Brahm here. Another Brahm. It's really full of sound design if you're into sound design. If you are especially into horror cues, into darker mu movies, maybe darker music, but, but who knows, maybe even hip hop or, or whatever, you can use those kits. We will talk about the kits in a second. In the second cue, I have a Brahm and a mega hit at the beginning. <laughs> And I even here I used three different pads. Which I slowly pitched down and the other one opened up the distortion. So we talked about the Brahms, the mega hits and the pads. Let's get into those kits. So we do have the cinematic kit here which if it's not switched on, obviously you won't hear it. Same thing for the kits. You do have the gate sequencer. You do have the filter distortion. All the other stuff that I showed you already on the pads, you do have even on the cinematic kit and on the... Um, if you are in the cinematic kit, then there is even a second one, cinematic kit two, and then there are three, three um, NKI, so, so instruments that have loops that they design for 90 BPM, 120 BPM, 160 BPM, but obviously they are synced to your DAW. So you're not forced into writing 160 BPM or not if you don't want. So let's have a listen to some of the loops. Maybe important to say even Everything, as you can see, is out of the box. There is no external effect or, or whatever involved. This is the library out of the box. 
and let's listen to some of those loops. So those are the hybrid loops, 120 BPM. Just some of them, you see, I just went up the scale. Which you have here on the blue keys. Okay, then cinematic loops. Cinematic loops, there are way more, obviously, on the cinematic loops. And even here you have one and two within the same BPM. So you have, you know, two and a half, one and a half octaves by two but for all these loops. So the cinematic loops, they sound like this. of stuff and then obviously we do have even the, the normal loops they are created out of the normal kit and they sound like this quite metallic <laughs> lots of fun to play with lots of fun to play with and I think you even get the idea how easy it is with this library to create your custom sounds. As I always say, know your tools. With this one especially, know all these knobs and all these faders. It's definitely worth it because you can get a lot out of, out of it. So here's another good news. This library is $70 and Pulsator Sounds at the moment, they're running their spring sale until the end of May, there's an additional 25% discount on it. Absolutely worth, in my opinion, checking out this library if you're looking for something percussive, which is quite mangled, tweaked, electronic, very interesting. Even seen the origins of this instrument, if you need some Brahms, if you need um, the pads that are really cool. I mean, the pads in this one here, I have some of those. Really interesting. Bending shadows. Really, really, really nice. Distorted. So if you're into electronic sounds, if you're into hybrid sound design, this library is really one thing that I can recommend. I like it a lot. Thanks to Pulse at the Sound to handing it out to me to give you this um, this test drive. This is my opinion of it. If you would like to see another video about Pulse at the Sounds, then I suggest watch my video about their Detonator Rage, another cool library. And yeah, that's it from my side. Have a wonderful time. Make good music always. And see you in the next video or in the next live stream then. Bye bye. Best part of today's video. Now I have crushed ice for my whiskey. See you next time.